things will change. Maryland Delegate Marvin Holmes is banking on legislation submitted Tuesday calling for the creation of a task force focused on property appraisal and valuation equity to help address appraisal bias allegations throughout the state and especially in Prince George's County. Most people don't even know that, that they have the ability to file a complaint about the appraiser. The task force would study the effectiveness of policies and laws that regulate home appraisals. It would also assist in developing a model to have home values reassessed and recommend additional legislation. Because of Channel 9's efforts to bring it to the forefront and because of the group that I'm involved with, the problems have come to light. And now that the problems have come to light, a lot more people are saying to themselves, you know, that happened to me too. Last year, we shared the stories of families who say they lost anywhere from 60 to $500,000 because of home appraisals they claim were unfair and racially biased. How is it that this, the, the, the wood and the walls and the nails, right, that were used, how are they worth less than what they cost us? Since then, the group Fair and Unbiased Appraisal Advocates has been getting the word out, educating homeowners about how to respond to questionable home appraisals. Our reporting even prompted Maryland gubernatorial candidate and current state comptroller Peter Francho to request the state's attorney general investigate. Let's get real, Maryland, and let's do something uh, to address this issue. But when we checked in recently, the AG's office would not comment on the investigation nor confirm if an investigation was underway. The issue of home appraisals is also now a hot topic on the campaign trail. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Wes Moore addressed it last week. The reality is, uh, in addition to the great work that you did, it should not have taken a leader, your report, to understand what your report unveiled that these inequities have existed for a very long time within our communities. And I'm very proud of the fact that I was able to work with Senator Antonio Hayes on groundbreaking legislation that was able to address fair appraisal value in traditionally and historically redlined neighborhoods. Moore is referring to a bill that requires the Maryland Department of Housing and Community Development to submit a report examining how factors like race, income, and location impact appraisal bias. That report is due by June. But in a House meeting last December, officials admitted collecting the data is proving to be difficult because information is limited. Larry Miller, WUSA 9. And yeah, Larry's going to keep on digging. He has done some extensive reporting on this issue. To watch all of his pieces in the series, just head on over to our free WUSA 9 app. We have it all posted there.